What's going on my fellow producers? I'm Young Cards. Today, I am back with another tutorial video for you guys. I am going to be showing you how to make a chord progression from a melody in FL Studio. Before we get into today's video, I would like you guys to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. Also, if you're interested in getting a loop kit anytime soon, be sure to check out my Halo loop kit as well in the description. It's all for $14.99 and it contains lots of crazy loops for making Gunna type beats, YG type beats, and so much more. And best of all, all of the sounds are completely royalty free. All right, let's get into today's video. So the first thing you guys wanna do when you get into FL Studio is you're gonna to wanna to get a piano out just to get things rolling with your melody and your chord progression. So I would recommend either using FL Keys, Keyscape, a Nexus piano, anything with a piano as long as it's some sort of grand piano. So I'm gonna be using FL Keys for today's tutorial and I'm gonna go into the piano roll and now we're gonna go ahead and select a scale. Now. You can either choose the major scale for making a happy, uplifting sort of beat, or you can choose the minor scale for making a sad, dark, eerie type of beat. So I'm going to go with a minor scale, and then you can select your root note. So your root note is essentially your most bottom note of your chord progression or melody, and it's what's going to be running your bass line. It doesn't always have to be on the root note, but you know it's a good place to get started. So I'm going to go with the root note D, and I'm gonna go with the minor natural scale. All right, so that means we have selected a D minor scale. So the D minor scale consists of all of these highlighted ghost notes that you see in the background. So whatever note that you put on these highlighted ghost notes is gonna sound good. Anything outside of that are these uh, darker bits here. And if you put a note outside of it, it's going to be out of tune and it's going to it's not going to sound right with the melodies that you create so let me go ahead and make a melody for you guys real quick control a control b to copy all that over and then here's a simple melody that i came up with all right so very, very simple melody. Uh, another thing you could do, or let me show you another example of what happens when you don't place your notes in the right uh, position. So as you can see, pretty much, I mean, these three notes right here are not on the uh, highlighted scale. So what's gonna happen here is it's gonna sound really bad. So now you see why you want to follow the scale and follow the highlighted notes so i'm going to put these back and now we have our simple melody you can also expand on this melody by making it a little bit more complex you could uh go down here and drop these notes down and another thing you can do to expand on your melodies is also add more notes on top of the melody. So you could do something like, um, I don't know. So you could do something like that and I can top it off with maybe, you know, some kind of long played out note. So, okay, so there's our melody, all right? So now that we've created a melody, now we can go ahead and create a chord progression. Now what I like to do is I like to look at the lowest notes in my chord progression, or sorry, in my melody. Okay, so in this case, it's going to be D and C, all right? So to make the chord progression, it's very simple. So you're gonna follow the root note of your melody so I'm gonna put the D note right here, and then we're gonna skip every other note to create a triad chord. So we got D, F, and A. And then I can just expand on this by making it, uh, let's go for a uh, Metro Boomin style.
and notice how this notice how my root note in my melody changes on this second half here to a C note. So now I'm coming down here. I'm starting with C, skipping that note, E, skipping that note, G. All right. That sounds really good. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make a chord progression from a melody in FL Studio. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, be sure to subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Also, if you're interested in my Halo Loop Kit, that will be in the description as well, all for $14.99 with lots of crazy loops for making YG type beats, Gunna type beats, and so much more. All I have to say now is thank you guys for watching today's video, and I will see you in the next one.